Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your October reading 2022 with me Jackie here on Roman the Tarot. Okay so October is about that time where I pick the Black Mirror Oracle um, which I have done I think for the last three years and it looks a little bit deeper into something about yourself, something that you're uh, something you don't realise, something you're not facing. Um, yeah, so that's it. So let's get on with the reading. But before I do, I'd just like to say that this is a general reading, not a private personal reading. So it's not going to resonate with, a, with everybody. And this reading is for those of you who have Sagittarius, Sun, Moon or Rising Venus. Okay, so let's get on with the reading, Sagittarius, and see what we have. Okay, so we start with this card. On this side, we have, from the Black Mirror, we have Queen of My World. Okay, so King or Queen, you know, whoever you are, male or female. So um, we're looking at uh, you feeling a little bit untouchable here. No one's going to penetrate your world in any way. Okay, so you are, you are uh, in a, a energy where you're sort of, your own master and also this is a card because you do have the mask here from the Lenormand so maybe putting up a little bit of a front here Sagittarius and uh, concealing your true feelings and emotions in some way by putting it on some sort of uh, pretense or act and I don't mean that in a uh, in a bad way at all. It just means that you don't want people to see uh, what's really happening, what's really going on inside. Okay. So next, uh, under that, yeah, as I said, you do have the mask, which I have explained from the Lenormand. Uh, this is about not really being real, you know, really being true to yourself. So you're playing... Uh, some sort of role here and you're concealing you're concealing your true uh, feelings and emotions in some way okay so under that we have the from the before tarot we have the uh, strength card here so I feel with this card it's time and you're going to I just want to say before I carry on, you do have the uh, time card here and you're going to hear me use that word time a lot in this reading because it does sort of carry, it does sort of cover the whole reading this time. So that is the main focus is the time aspect. And I don't mean the time it's going to happen, but you will know what I mean as I carry on with the reading. So it's time to get something I think get your feelings and emotions under control here. Um, you're going to need a lot of strength, I feel, for a situation that's uh, happening at the moment in your life. So it is time to get something under control. Right, in your next uh, row, you have Karmic Relationship, the Time Card, as I said, and also the Emperor. Okay, so with this karmic relationship card, just show you there, karmic relationship, it says feeling triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So it is time to uh, start uh, thinking about yourself in some way and, um, and taking care of yourself. I feel here because I think you're going to need all the strength you can muster up in some way. So it is time to uh, take care of yourself, Sagittarius, and it's time for you to, oh sorry, take a lead, take the lead in a situation. Because I feel that uh, if if you are a um, leader in some way, whether it's in your business, your work. Or your family you know relationship you are going to have to uh, step up to the mark in some way and take the lead because people are looking to you for some sort of guidance and leadership 
Okay, so that's how I'm feeling there with that card. So moving on, as I say, karmic relationship as well. So also a fear of um, maybe a fear of uh, losing your freedom or losing control or maybe a fear of rejection and failure in some way. So that be for, remember, this isn't going to be for everyone. Okay, so in your third row, we have mindful, which is group think, and we have young man, and we also have the eight of pentacles. Okay, so group think, this is the card. So this is about <clears throat> keeping a, cl a clear mind, a clean, clear mind, as they say. Uh, or be, uh, you know, be cautious about having uh, hurtful thoughts. Um, don't allow fear and uncertainty uh, to get in your way or to pollute your mind in any way. And also a card that brings, uh, if it brings good. So good brings good, more good brings more, well, that's what I want to say, good brings more good, love brings more love, and of course gratitude, more things to be grateful for, okay, so that's that's that card, so I am feeling, I am picking up these, uh, maybe some sort of resentment here, because we do have the young man underneath this card from the Lenormand, oh, I don't know if I showed you this one as well, I'll quickly show you the that's the time card so as i said i'll be using that word quite a bit and we do have this young man card and we also have the eight of pentacles now looking at um this card this mindful card this group thing <coughs> this is about thinking <coughs> excuse me some sort of uncertainty in some way and also some sort of, res um, I'd say, a little bit of resentment here uh, with this uh, group think card and this young man. So maybe somebody in your life, Sagittarius, whether this is an ex, you know, if you you know, don't know what gender you are. So whether this is an ex uh, relationship, or an ex lover, an ex husband, wife, or it could be a family member. But there's a need here to start working on your connections and your, your relationships in your life because I feel that you need uh, people do look up to you and they look at look up to you for guidance and to sort of um, take the lead it is a responsibility the emperor does have a lot of responsibility so it's about it's time for you to work on your your relationships and your connections Okay, so the next card in this row, we have Forgiveness, we have the Bear, and we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so there we go. There's your, from the Angel Answers, we have the Forgiveness card. So, um, yeah, so needing to forgive uh, somebody here in a situation. Uh, there is a need to forgive things that have uh, maybe happened in the past or forgive someone and the reason I say that is because we do have the bear card now the bear card is a card it can be an authority figure and it can also be a mother so she is a protector someone strong and even someone that can be a little forceful it's a very powerful energy as well and it could also be an official person um, I'm picking up uh, straight away the energy of a protector. So some sort of mother figure in your life needing to forgive something uh, that you feel a little resentment about from the past. Okay, and then we have, I'll just pick it up straight away. We have the Ten of Swords. So it's about, um, I think, laying something to rest okay with the ten of swords so maybe this um as if you've had some sort of uh i don't know some disagreement or some sort of uh falling out or even some sort of resentment about uh something that's happened in the past this this is a time to to sort of lay something to rest 
on it. And we do have for the underlying energy here. So the underlying energy is the bridge or the bridges. Okay, so instead of uh, it's about bridging the gap instead of burning bridges. So don't burn all your bridges. There's a need to sort of start bridging the gap here. Okay, it's a card of reconciliation as well. And uh, yeah, it's just sort of needing to uh, work. It's time to work on healing a rift that you, a bit of a rift that you, you have had with uh, somebody in your, with somebody in your life or as I say, something that's happened in the past. Okay, so now is the time to start working on that okay Sagittarius so a time for forgiveness okay so let's see what else we have right at the bottom of there I'll just read a couple more cards for you um as I say on this side because we have the before tarot, we do have the young man, so maybe starting to see things from other people's uh, point of views sometimes. Um, not calling you out, but it does call for call for some sort of sacrifice in some way. So your hands, uh, maybe in the future, might be tied in some way. So that's that's why you need to sort of start uh, taking care of yourself and uh, looking after yourself as best you can because I do feel that there is uh, maybe for some of you maybe there's something coming up where you're going to need all the strength you can muster okay so just keep that in mind and I do feel for some of you it could be connected connected to family and as I said at the bottom on this side on the after tarot we do have this lovely uh, ace of coins which is it can be a, a new opportunity something coming in a new beginning so there is a new beginning here for somebody okay so that's what i have at the moment sagittarius as i say these readings for october they are short and sweet but um yeah so um i hope you enjoyed the reading you know i hope that it resonated for, for some of you in some way and I do wish you the best of luck and I do send you lots of blessings and uh, hope that things, you know, work out, whatever your situation is. And I'll be back very soon with your November readings. So thank you for listening and watching me and I'll see you very soon. Bye Sagittarius.